Hello kids how are you doing? In this video we are going to look on few details on a sports file. Yeah very much right it all about F1. What is F1? Well, dot it's Formula 1, it is all a sports series yes it is a series of races held at different venues around the world, of the fastest open wheel, open cabin, single seated, four-wheeled autos in the world. There have been a few years when even six-wheeled cars participated in F1. Well what is meant by formula? The word, formula, included in the name, refers to a set of rules that the constructors of the car, its mechanics and the drivers have to strictly follow during the tenure that they are members of F1. Then what does, one, stands for. The word, one, comes from the Grading Federation Internationale de Automobile issues to the racing tracks, the approved cars and the driver's licenses. The, one, is also to distinguish F1 from street car racing and also to indicate that it is the ultimate in formula racing. Why don't we see some historical facts or the origin of F1, Formula 1, a new set of rules, were agreed upon by the racing organizations in 1946. The first non-championship race was the Turin Grand Prix held the same year in Italy. The following year the World Drivers' Championship was formalized. Achille Varzi, an Italian driver, won the race in an Alfa Romeo. The first World Championship race was held in 1950 at Silverstone in the United Kingdom. Giuseppe Farina, an Italian driver in his Alfa Romeo, was the first driver to win the World Drivers' Championship that year. We see some basics on the design of Formula One car. Formula One cars are aerodynamically designed to provide the least resistance as they cut through the air. The feature not only helps them attain great speeds but also to consume less fuel as well as to get a better grip on the tarmac. Kids make a note here, because of the F1 car's aerodynamic design the Formula cars attain a speed greater than that of an airliner at takeoff. Now we will see basics on Formula 1 engines since 2014, all F1 cars have 1.6L, V6 turbocharged engines. Here, the number after, V, stands for the number of cylinders on the engine. The number before, L, represents the displacement volume in liters of all the cylinders of the engine taken together. F1 cars are required to weigh a minimum of 746 kgs without the driver and fuel in them. Constructors, along with the other members of the team including drivers, have to optimize the horsepower, torque and the fuel efficiency to suit their requirements. That is why F1 cars engines are fine-tuned for every F1 circuit. Kids any idea on maximum speed of cars in F1 Grand Prix? Revolutions per minute or revs as we call it, for F1 car engines are limited to 15,000 revolutions per minute. F1 cars are capable of speeds of up to 375 km per hour. What is the top most so far in the F1? Juan Pablo Montoya hit a top speed of 372.6 km per hour, during the Italian Grand Prix in 2005 while driving a McLaren Mercedes car. Now about F1 tires. Formula 1 tires car tires play a big part in Formula 1 races. Pirelli is officially recognized as the tire supplier by FIA for Formula One. Unlike street car tires, Formula One car tires are built to last only between 60 to 120 kilometers. 
Formula One teams Participants in Formula One air not individuals but teams. You may not realize it, but each Formula One team employs hundreds of technicians, engineers and support staff. If you include the designers and the assembly employees, that number could well exceed 1,000. There were 10 teams enrolled for the 2020 Formula One season with two cars each. According to the rule for the 2021 season, a maximum of 26 cars will be allowed to compete. That would mean a maximum of 13 teams because each team is allowed to field two cars. A Formula One team comprises all the entities that design and produce the car and own the intellectual rights. Therefore if the chassis is designed by one company and the engine is supplied by another, the two taken together become the participating team. That is the reason you will hear names like Benetton, Ford or Williams Renault. Here is the list of F1 teams for 2020, along with their drivers, Mercedes with Valtteri Bottas and Lewis Hamilton Red Bull Racing with Alexander Albon and Max Verstappen McLaren with Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris. Racing Point with Sergio Perez and Lance Stroll Ferrari with Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel Renault with Esteban Acon and Daniel Ricciardo Alfatori with Pierre Gasly and Daniel Kvyat Alfa Romeo Racing with Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi. Haas F1 team with Kevin Magnussen and Romain Grosjean Williams with Nicholas Latifi and George Russell Kids Any idea on the experiences that a F1 driver will come across Formula 1 drivers are as fit as most athletes in any sport. They have very high stamina and extremely good reflexes. Driving a race is very demanding both physically and mentally. That is why drivers dedicate a lot of time both during the season and otherwise maintaining their physical health and well-being. All F1 drivers lose weight at the end of a race. That is because a lot of energy is spent by the drivers in working the brake and throttle pedals and concentrating on the track. Much energy is also spent when countering the G-force on the bends and sharp corners. G-force is the force an F1 driver experiences when he accelerates or the car is going around a bend or a corner on the track. F1 drivers will experience force 2G when accelerating and up to 6G on a sharp corner. It means that the drivers are pulled by a force equal to six times their weight. Although a driver's body is firmly strapped in his seat, their neck as well as their legs is free to move. Keeping legs and neck in position under these high G-forces takes a lot of strength and effort. That is why F1 drivers assign a high priority to strengthen their neck muscles for high endurance. Kids now we will discuss on Formula 1 circuits a Formula 1 circuit is a loop of a road which is approved by the FIA as a race track fit for F1 racing. A circuit usually starts with a straight stretch and has several turns and corners. Most circuits run in a clockwise direction. Those few that are anti-clockwise give drivers the most trouble because of G-force on their necks in a direction that they are used to. The average time taken for a race is 2 hours and the average distance of a circuit is 305 kilometers, but the distance varies in the length of the track from circuit to circuit as does the difficulty in negotiating the circuit. One round around a circuit is counted as one lap and races are usually specified as the number of laps of a particular circuit. Pits and pit stops Pit stops are essential for cars to change tires and for making repairs, mechanical adjustments, refueling or as a penalty. 
refueling is not allowed in F1 for now. However, drivers have to make at least one pit stop to change tires because F1 tires are designed to last much less than the distance of one race. Pits are located at the side of racing lanes and they are assigned in the order of qualifying rankings of the team. A pit may have even up to 20 mechanics who prepare for all eventualities one lap before the car makes a pit stop. Drivers make a call on taking a pit stop depending on the state of their tires and any mechanical repairs or adjustments their car might need. The team leader in the pit will usually remind the driver that he has to make a pit stop one lap before a pre-scheduled stop. The less the number of pit stops drivers make, the more advantage they get in race times. Formula One seasons A season of Formula One consists of a number of Grand Prix conducted over the course of a year. The F1 season usually starts in March and ends in December. There are 22 venues across the world where the Grand Prix are held. Both the number of venues and the locations may change and are announced well in time before the season begins. In 2020 for example, all the Grand Prix in the Americas stand cancelled because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The cancellations were announced mid-F1 season. At the end of the F1 season, the World Drivers' Championship and the Constructors' Championship are awarded to the winners. The Drivers' Championship is decided by the cumulative number of points the driver has accumulated in that season. The Constructors' Championship goes to the team with the highest total of the points accumulated by both its drivers during the season. Kids now we will the glossary and terms used in Formula 1 now that you have got the hang of what F1 is about let us go to some of the slang used in F1. The words listed below are some of the technical jargon used by team staff and commentators. Once you know them, you will be in a better position to understand what some, expert commentators, are talking about when they say, marbles, and, pull a sitter. Backmarker trailing drivers are often lapped by the leading drivers. The trailing drivers are referred to as backmarkers just as we refer to backbenchers in schools and colleges. Blistering, graining. Blistering is when the cold surface of the track causes pieces to blow out of the tire surface because the inside of the tire is warmer. Graining is just the opposite. It is a situation when the tires are cold and the hotter surface outside causes the rubber chunks to come off and stick to the tire. Bottoming when the underside of the cars comes in contact with the track, it is referred to as bottoming. It happens because of uneven tracks and in cases of sudden rise or crest. You get a shower of sparks when a car bottoms out because F1 cars use titanium skid blocks underneath their chassis. Box box is a reminder to the drivers coming from a controller in the pits that they have a pit stop coming during the lap or in the next lap. The word is derived from the German word, Boxenstopp, which means a pit stop. Brake bias Brake bias is what allows the drivers to adjust the difference between how much the front wheels and the rear wheels brake. Normally, both the front and rear wheels will brake equally when the driver pushes down on the brake pedal. In wet conditions, the driver may want to increase the braking in the rear tires and reduce in the front wheels. Drivers adjust brake biases throughout the course of a race to balance the car depending on the condition of the tires and the amount of fuel left in the tanks. Dirty air, clean air, dirty air is the turbulent air left in the wake of the preceding car. 
the car coming in the wake of the leading car will experience a drag because of the dirty air. Clean air is the undisturbed air encountered by a car speeding all on its own. The air flows smoothly around the car's streamlined surface but leaves dirty air in its wake. DRS Drag Reduction System DRS, is allowed to be used in only marked zones on the track. Turbulent air behind the leading car can lead to a drag on the car following it closely, reducing the downforce. A flap on the car is then used to reduce the drag and increase the downforce which can help the car in overtaking on a straight. Falling off the cliff Falling off the cliff describes the situation when the tire compounds deteriorate unusually rapidly during the race. THS slows down the car and renders it uncompetitive. Drivers say, my tires fell off the cliff and I had to pit stop early, to describe their predicament. Flat spot when a car driver locks his front brakes, the front tires skid along the surface of the track rather than roll across it. This wears the tires giving it a prominent flat spot. A flat spot on the wheels results in unscheduled pit stops spoiling the chances of the driver in the race. Green track A green track is an almost unused track that drivers encounter on the first day of practice. The track has little rubber laid down onto it affording the cars less than optimum traction on the dry. Lift and coast If a driver feels that he is going to run out of fuel before the end of the race, he has to conserve his fuel. The driver then lifts off the throttle and cruises. The driver is said to be, lifting and coasting, into the braking zone at the cost of speed. Marbles Tiny pieces of rubber that are shredded off the tires while cornering are called marbles. They accumulate off the racing line and driving on them can be dangerous as the car loses traction. Oversteer, understeer. When a car is cornering and the rear wheels of the car lose grip and step out of line, the driver is said to have oversteered. On the other hand if the front wheels lose grip and the car takes a shallower turn than the driver intended, the car has been understeered. Pole sitter A pole sitter is the driver who wins the pole position in the qualifying races. Pole sitters have an advantage if they get away from the pack and hold the lead into the first corner. Power unit The engine of a modern day F1 car has power units, rather than just engines as in the olden days. This unit consists of six components. The internal combustion engine, ICE, the turbocharger, TC, the motor generator unit, H, MGUH, motor generator unit, kinetic, MGUK, the energy store, S, and the control electronics, CE, taken together is called the power unit. These components combine to give AF1 car just below 1000 bhp of power. Tank slapper A driver is said to have got a tank slapper when a sideways movement causes the rear end of the car to step out of line. Well kids, we completed our session on F1. Feel free to discuss with your parents on the points you need knowledge. Your parents will be always ready to share the knowledge and say.